found a monster. The tracks lead to this area, but I lost them near the river. Probably crossed it. Track down to the shoreline. Keep an eye open for tracks. Hello, everybody. We are back here on Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2010. And the last time that we played, we left off okay, at the I'm hunt excited. for a trophy buck. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go after the trophy white-tailed deer. Now, I don't remember if we're going to get straight into that kill or if there's a little bit leading up to it, but uh, we're going to figure that out. But it looks like we got to track some things first. Alright, so I'm assuming he's talking about this hill right here. So, I'm guessing there'll be some more tracks along the way, most likely. Okay, so sounds like our buck is right up there fighting with another one as he just explained Yeah, it's right down there. I Am very eager to see what this buck looks like cuz I don't remember it from back when I played this on the ps2 So it's gonna be interesting to see what this buck looks like. I'm very excited to find out Find the trophy buck, okay, so Oh, it's oh it's him jeez yeah that is a giant buck that is an absolute giant can we check the rangefinder you can't zoom in any more than that sadly but 175 on the score that's a young buck too it's only three years old so it's just a really giant young buck that is kind of crazy So we got to take him on the run. Ooh, we kind of screwed that up, but we got him in the end. It looks like there we go. We got the trophy white tail deer down. Nice. I didn't think it would go straight into the hunt, but drop right near my position. I'll tag him for you. Can't wait to see the score on this puppy. Yeah, it looks like it went straight into it. That is a beauty, though. So that is the end of the first region. So now we get to head to the second region, which is going to be very interesting. Now, we did miss a couple hunts, it looks like. And we didn't get all of the trophy points. So that is a little unfortunate, but... Overall, I'd say we did pretty decent on it. We ended up unlocking ourselves the Ma Marlin Model 336XLR, the Remington Model 700 VTR, the Remington Model R25, and the 44 Magnum Semi-Auto Pistol, along with the Rangefinder, Scent Cover, Duck Call, the Shad Wrap, and the Tree Stand. And that is really interesting. I actually did not remember this being a thing. That's kind of cool. So it shows all of the trophies that we took during uh, that little region. That's cool. I really like that. I had completely forgot that this was a thing. That is crazy. I love the way this looks. That's so cool. And it gives you a little story about kind of what went on. That is awesome. That's really, really cool. And so it looks like now we can head to the next region. So we're now in Idaho. That is pretty cool. Well, here we are in Northwest Idaho, sometimes called the Panhandle. And we've got some truly awesome hunting ahead of us. Today, we're starting off by going after the one and only Rocky Mountain Elk. Now, I've been out scouting and glassing the past few days, and I've seen sign of what I think are some really big bulls. Okay, that's really cool. I'm actually happy that Rocky Mountain Elk are going to be the first one that we go after. That is really, really awesome. Let me first tell you a few things about what marks elk leave behind when they pass through. Let's take a look at these signs. 
All right, so we got tracks to look at. Elk often rub their antlers on saplings. Check out what an elk rub looks like. Guessing it's this right in front of us. Yeah. Find two elk signs, then meet me up at the edge of these woods. All right, awesome. So we just got to find the signs. And these ones won't count because we already looked at those. So we got to find two more. Saying that it's near us. I bet it's this. Yeah. There it is. The rub. There it is. So we got to go up this trail and to the right, it looks like, to get to the uh, guide. And yeah, he's right there. I'm assuming this will be the first chance we get to take a elk. I scouted some turkeys around here and we've got tacks. Oh, turkeys. Wanna okay. Take a break from tackling elk and bag a gobbler? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Definitely. There's a nice tom, but he's probably out of range. I set up a ground blind near that dead tree. If you can sneak over to it, I'll call in those turkeys for you. Okay, this is actually going to be really cool. I am excited to actually get to go for some turkeys. I had forgot that you could go for uh, turkeys in the second region. I thought it was a little bit further down. So that's really cool. Get ready. Very awesome looking turkeys. Nice. That is awesome. Let's get a close look at this turkey model. That's honestly pretty good for being a game from 2009. That's really good looking, honestly. Let's get back to tracking those elk. Around here, we use tree stands for elk hunting. Look for a good tree in a group nearby, mount your stand, and then call in an elk. Simple, huh? Okay, that's actually going to be really cool, too. Actually stand hunting an elk. I had forgot, like, how good of a, like, little mission arc this game actually had. It's really cool to have all the different uh, variations of hunting styles that they actually have you do in this game. You can only mount a tree stand in special trees. Look for trees with moss and fungus on them. Okay, so I guess that's kind of how they mark which trees you can put the stands on, so... Uh, it's pretty typical, I guess, for most games that have tree stands. Find an appropriate tree and mount the tree stand. Alright, so... You gotta look for one that has moss and fungus on it. So these ones work. This one should work right here. Can be used to mount your tree stand. Yeah, this one will work. Do we have the tree stand anywhere? Or do we have to hit a certain button? There we go. Um... Oh, there we go. Okay. That makes more Help sense. Me. Use your alcohol to bring him into range. Alright, so we gotta get the elk collar equipped now. Let's go ahead and that. Oh, I guess I need to look at the instructions. I can remember how to pull them up. There we go. So we just got to go to the right. Okay, that sounds way better. Uh, you know, third time's a charm. <laughs> we got it eventually. Okay, let's use the 308 AR. That's actually, that is awesome. This is going to be the perfect gun for these guys. We just need to get it a little bit closer and then we should be able to take the shot. And honestly, these are pretty good looking Rocky Mountain Elk models. I'm impressed with this for being such an old game. It honestly did pretty good. I do want to wait till it's in a better angle. Hopefully it'll go broadside. That would be obviously the best case scenario. Hey! 
That didn't go how I wanted it to, but we got it. <laughs> I thought we would be able to hit vitals on that first shot, but I'm not exactly sure what happened. I'll have to kind of watch that back in, uh, in editing, but I'm pretty sure it might have moved as I shot. I don't exactly know what happened, but we got it down, so... We got that at least. The spot where mule deer go to drink. It's the right time of day, so get moving. Later. All right, so we actually get to go after some mule deer now. That I'm actually really excited for. Mule deer are one of the coolest deer, in my opinion. Just up the path is a clearing where a muley herd likes to graze. Hunt one and then head down to the lake. Some nice trophies gather there to drink. Remember, you can find them by using your GPS. All right. Let's get the GPS out and see. So it's saying this way. But yeah, as I was saying, mule deer are probably one of my favorite deer species. Mule deer and blacktail have always appealed to me more than other species. Okay, right here. So just hunt one mule deer. So that means I think we could actually just shoot it right from here. Uh, we do need to change guns though. We use the 30-30, let's see. Optimal animals, white tail deer, that's it? Yeah, looks like 270 is what they want us to use, so... Don't see any bucks at all. Unless that's it right there. I think that might be it. Yep, yep, that's the buck. That is him right there. There we go, we got him down. That went a little bit better than the elk did at least. And there it is, our first mule deer. Now we gotta find the lake, which is that way. So that shouldn't be too difficult. I talked with the landowner and he's happy to let you take a few coyotes. Use your predator call to lure them in closer. Okay, so this is kind of like a little bonus hunt. We actually found another hunt that we can go on. So let's do that. Gotta equip the predator call. I guess we should uh, look at what we need. Oh, wow. Gosh, that is harder than it looks. How are we supposed to- hold up. Oh wow, that is- I don't have enough mouse pad space for this. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so we finally got it. Now we just gotta get the appropriate gun, which I'm assuming will be that one. Yeah, right there. We gotta kill five coyotes. skip this so that we can actually um actually we can't skip it I was worth trying to get another one but unfortunately not able to so back to calling All right so it's right there and yeah, we're actually able to kind of get an angle Um, I don't know what just happened there, but... Oh, that looked like it should have been good, but for some reason that shot didn't connect. Just like that one, it looked like it should have been good, but I guess not. Well, back to calling again. Hopefully this won't take too long. There we go. So we got two tags left. Ooh, we actually got that one. Okay, so that's gonna save us a little bit of time at least. <laughs> I 
The death animations for the coyotes are something else. And there's the last one. Nice. That saves us so much time. So we completed that objective. Now back to trying to find the lake. There are animal signs around here. Got animal signs in the area. I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. Mule deer tracks. All right. So we got some muleys in the area. I'm assuming that's what's at the lake, if I remember right. I don't remember what he said. That is. This might be it, actually. Or. Oh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that was interesting to watch, for sure. <laughs> interesting way to get a bridge, but I mean, <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, there's a little mule deer buck. Very small one. I'm guessing there's a bigger one. Oh, yeah, that's a bigger one for sure. It looks kind of like the white tailed deer, though, not gonna lie. Looks very similar. The rack doesn't look too much different than the big white tail we took in the second episode. Alright, so let's get the 270 back out. So they aren't too alert at the moment. We're just getting a green icon, so we should be fine to stalk around a little bit. I don't think we have to get too much closer. We just got to get close enough to where it'll lock on to the buck. Which, he's right there. So he's kind of behind that rock, unfortunately. But it shouldn't take too long to get to a spot where we can actually take... Wait. Oh, we actually got that. I am really surprised. I thought that thing was about to spook off. I'm so surprised we got that. That went way better than I thought it would once I saw that red icon pop up. Wow. <laughs> there he is, so... Yeah, it looks very similar to one of the whitetail we killed. Rack-wise, at least, so... That's kind of disappointing, but hopefully the big, big bucks will look different. Alright, so that's the end of that little segment. We'll probably do one more segment. Alright, so that should be pretty easy for the most part. So the blackberry patch is that way. Alright, so this must be one of the other bonus hunts. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, there's gonna be a couple marks that we need to find, and then we'll be able to put our stand up. Alright, so there is some poop. Now we need one more. I'm guessing it'll probably be a rub. Yeah, it is. It's a rub right here. Now we gotta find a tree to put the tree stand in. Alright, so I guess this is the tree. So let's get that put up. And that's a pretty small bull, but I mean, we need to get all these little side quests done as much as we can. Whoa, an albino bull. What's the chance of that? Wait. An al wait, an albino bull? Oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, man. I let go too soon. I was going to change guns and I accidentally released and it took the tree stand down. That's kind of sad, actually. Well, we'll get it. 
We'll get it with this one. Uh, where is the tree? It's actually this tree right here. Okay, perfect. That tree can be used to mount your tree stand. There we go. Now, change this. And then use the call it said, I believe. Yeah. Perfect. And that's him. That's our albino bull. That is so cool that we actually get to take this out as a side quest. so cool that is so cool that we actually got to take down an albino elk that's really really cool what a beauty what a beautiful animal all right so let's go ahead and claim this guy now that we've gotten ourselves a good look at him honestly their rocky mountain elk look really good 411 scoring too, geez. Get that put up there, and this is the other bull that we need to take out, so we gotta call him in, and then we'll get that guy down. Perfect. He's coming right at us now. And yeah, it does look like he is the only one here. So we don't have to worry about this being the wrong one or anything like that. I need him to put his head down again like he had it for a second. That would have been perfect. There we go. We got the shot in. That is just what I needed him to do. Beautiful. There we go. That is perfect. So now we can get down and go claim this guy. There we go. And that is side mission completed. Nice. So honestly, I think we're probably going to go ahead and leave it at that. We've been going for quite a while now and we got quite a bit done. We took out a trophy whitetail buck along with an albino Rocky Mountain Elk. I think that is a pretty good way to end it, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2010. This game has been quite a bit of fun to play, and I'm honestly really excited to continue doing this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to like the video because it does help recommend my videos to other viewers, and that honestly is the best way that you can support me. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!